Coming up on Metrophile this week, she is 50, she is fabulous, and she is Beatrice Abedi. on the show, the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria Fadden hold a fashion show to honor their patron, Senator Florence Itagiwa, who recently clocked 70. of the Federal House of Representatives, Right Honorable Suleiman Lassi Yusuf, and his wife, Alaja Rashidat Yusuf, have been conferred with the chieftaincy title of Bashon and Yere Bashon of Obagu Land in Ocean State, Southwest Nigeria. <laughs> Now, this is the station, the time, yes, and definitely the moment. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show, <laughs> your show, our show, Metropile on Channels Television, the first in this month of yeah, April. Yeah, that's true. I know what that means. You know what we do here. It's simple. You sit pretty in the comfort of your living or mm -hmm. bedroom and watch us take you around the world <laughs> of glitz and glamour in 30 minutes. And yes. I hope you are ready for it. Ah, yes, I know they mm -hmm. are ready for it, just like we are. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It is certainly going to be a great time. I feel yes. it already. Yes. All right, before we show you the details, we must warn you, especially to our sensitive viewers, some of the images you might be seeing on the show today might just contain flash photography. But welcome on board. I'm Anne Wawadu. And I'm Oge Chukwosi. Welcome to our world. Okay, it was a totally relaxed and casual evening of grills, fun and games, and plenty of dancing to celebrate the 30th anniversary of her 20th birthday, as she described it, of Mrs. Beatrice Abebe. Enjoy. Made in 1966, the year Mrs. Beatrice Abebe, the chief executive officer of Real Ad, an outdoor advertising company, was born. Mrs. Beatrice Abebe is the wife of former executive director of Mimasa, late Mr. Henry Abebe, and daughter of late Doyen of Advertising in Nigeria, Sir Sylvester Murmeke. Attaining this unique age for the celebrant is no mean feat, and she celebrated in her own style. For a woman who likes to have fun, celebrating the day in a formal way was not part of the deal. So, here goes. She took the casual road, throwing her doors open wide for her friends to come celebrate with her. The unique setting instantly gives you a clue about her personality. All is indeed set for a guest to have a cabana groove, as she calls it. The bush bar, cocktail, and dessert stand, as well as the band to dish out the right music suitable for the evening. The red carpet is laid, and guests started arriving. In no time, the place was packed with her friends and well wishes here to wish her well. Cocktail and games already setting the right tone for the evening.
and while they enjoyed themselves, the happy celebrant in royal purple sheer outfit happily walked in, acknowledging her guests. My mom has always been a down-to-earth, casual kind of lady. I, I tried to convince her. I said, Mom, it's your 50th birthday. You need to have suits. She said, no, Manny. I want people to come. I want people to dance. I want people to not feel under pressure to have fun. Hardworking, if I can say in one word. Hard, hard, very, very hardworking. Like, in this party today, man, she did all, all on her own, man. She had a couple of helpers, but she pulled it off, and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Gloria Ibru, one of the Ibru sisters, took to the mic, singing great tunes for the listening pleasure of everyone. And it sure got the celebrant and some others on their feet. My mom is the most loving, caring, and giving person you could ever meet. She always puts the needs of other people before herself, and I love her for that so much. She takes care of the whole family, like, beyond words. I don't know how to explain it. And together with her three children, she cuts her exquisite cake. It's been up and down, and seven months after I lost my husband, I lost my dad. That was really hard, you know, which is one of the reasons why I'm celebrating today. I had said I wasn't going to do anything, and the children said, you must. We're tired of celebrating funerals. It's enough, mommy, you must do something. You know? And I thought, okay, let's do something as long as it's what I want, you know, and 
this is what I want. And then the floor is open and it's dance, dance and dance. Thank God that she's 50 and we all were able to come here and celebrate with her and we give God and we'll come when we are when she's 60 again by the grace of God. Mrs. Abebe was born in March 1966. She had a primary and secondary education in Lagos and Benin City, near the state capital, and went on to buy a degree from philosophy and English from the University of Lagos and then Masters in Business Administration from Middlesex University in the UK. Also, she had a certificate in interior designing also from the UK. As she celebrates her 50th birthday, she is wishing her a happy celebration. Now, we don't get him at that. 